I'm going live. Bum, 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 Waiting for Facebook to load. La la da da da. I don't know where Facebook's happening. Bum ba da da. Da da da. Keep doing it. I can't load Facebook. <laughs> Hello. Hello, mighties. Hello. Facebook, if you're on Facebook, friends, I don't see it yet. Load, reload, load. This happened last week, too. What are you going to do? It's just the way it is sometimes. No problem. We're going to reload again. We'll try it again. All righty. Let's say hi to all my mice. Hi, everyone. Grand Rapids, Michigan from Pat and Carrie uh, from Bedford, Texas. D from Sheridan, Illinois. Hello from Oregon, says Pepper. Nice name, Pepper. Hello from Oregon, just started. Welcome, welcome, Ontario. Yay, Ontario. Uh, bump, bump, bump. Nice singing in comments, John. Hi, everyone from Grand Rapids, says Pat. Here we go. I love you too, Harry. Hey, Harry, are you reading the Oregon on? You're out of sight, Harry. You are the coolest. I got the organ on right here. I read it pretty regularly. I love it. I mean, it is really the base of all of homeopathy. This is Dr. Samuel Hahnemann's treatise on, on homeopathy. There have been many editions. I read the sixth edition. I mean, it's worth reading even the other editions, but very complex. But this particular version, I read to you from this version. Um, this particular version <clears throat> is not as complex. It's actually pretty easy reading. And each paragraph or subject is broken down into what he calls aphorisms. Fascinating stuff. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Let's see if we can get Facebook joining in with us. Are we on Facebook yet, Perry? I'm looking here. It's not happening. I'll do it again. Reload. So yeah, this is what we're studying in the in the um, um, academy. We're going to study this. Uh, not quite yet. We are going very in depth with this. It's so fascinating because it's loaded with history. Um, it was written and started in the 1700s. He started it and then uh, finished it in the uh, early 1800s. It was revised and revised and revised. And it's interesting because the last revision was not known. For I want to say, I can never remember, 35, 40 years, something like that. And his last um, um, edition was, um, we're not getting it, are we? Are Oops. we on Facebook? Here. Um, go to destination. Okay. Excuse me while we try right to there. figure out. Right there, right there. That little switch. While we try Over. to get. Click the switch. Yep, I did click the switch. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I'll do it again. I'll do it. I'll keep doing it just to prove I've done it. Slide it. Yeah. Click on the black part. Doesn't want to. Doesn't, doesn't want to go to Facebook. Here, click here. Click on that. Let me see what that says. Unable to stream. Please Unable to stream. Your Please broadcast. restart your broadcast and try again. Well, I don't want to. No, I'm not going to restart. I'm not going to do that. Just talk to your yeah, I'm going to talk to mighties. I mean, I love you guys. So why would I do that, right? <laughs> And let's just see. I want to be able to view everyone. All right. So um, tonight we're going to be talking about, here it is. Oh, here's here's Facebook. Here we go. I think we've got it. Um, we're going to talk tonight about um, um, a great medicine. But before we do that, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joette Calabrese. 
And I'm here every Monday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And it is to teach you, my dear friends, how to use homeopathy. We're still studying my Materia Medica. Um, this is what it looks like. Should you be interested in it? It can be purchased through my office, but you don't need to use mine. You can use other people's Materia Medicas. Mine's a very simple one for quick reference. Um, and uh, we are in the S's. So we're, you know, we're, we're, you know, we've got a little ways to go and we'll be done. And then I'm going to go back. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be studying next after the Materia Medica. But I will tell you this, that this medicine that we're going to talk about tonight is, shall I say, a mainstay of my, uh, of my practice. Yeah. It's, it is something that is, um, I don't know how I'd live without it. Not only for myself, because I've used it for my own health, but for many, many others. And I love to teach it because not very many people know about it. But I'm going to tell you as much as I can in a short amount of time as possible. And the remedy is Symphytum. One word, Symphytum. S-Y-M-P-H-Y-T-U-M. Symphytum officinale. Now, there are many kinds of symphytums, but the symphytum officinale is the one we're talking about tonight. It is what I would call the true symphytum. It's not that the others are not so true, but this is the one that most people refer to. And so it's a beautiful medicine. Um, it's known as knit bone, you know, as in knitting a bone, knit bone. And you, those of you who are herbalists out there, and I know you're here, um, it's, it's comfrey. It's homeopathic comfrey. Now, but long before I learned anything about homeopathy, I used comfrey. I used to grow it in my garden. Um, I found it wild someplace. I transferred it, put it into my garden, and it grew every year. And it grew bigger and bushier and more prickly and wonderful. It was a, it's a great plant. And, um, and I used it for, I had it on hand for mastitis. I had it on hand for bone injuries. But to be honest, by the time I really cultivated it enough to make it really good and bushy, I started learning enough about homeopathy that I didn't need to do that. And I started using it in, in homeopathic formula. And in more, in more cases than not, we are going to use Symphytum officinale in a 200 potency. Why? Because 200 works. <laughs> Why not a 30? Why not a 6? Why not a 1M? Why not a 10M? Why not a 50M? Why not a 12X? Why not? because 200 works. I'm not going to say it's for absolutely 100% all people on this earth when we need it, but it is such a fabulous medicine in the 200 potency, why tinker with success? So I'm going to read from my Materia Medica, although I don't really need to read, I'll just read a little bit to get myself started. It's derived from the comfrey plant, the number one remedy for injuries to the eyes. And also the orbit of the eyes, you know, the bones around the eyes as well. So sometimes there can be a blow to the eye and the actual eyeball is not injured, but the, but the orbital bones are. Um, it's great for bones. Um, anytime there are blows or bruises or broken bones. Now, I wouldn't start with Symphytum. I would start with, you tell me, what would you start with, my friends? We would start with... Arnica, if there are bruises, um, injuries, that's where we would go first. We could also consider aconitum, especially if it's an injury to the eye. But that's at the very beginning. That's for the trauma of the injury. What about after a while? Now the bone is, the trauma is over. The person has calmed down. It's a day later. Now we start thinking about symphytum. Now, I just want to refer you to a blog that I have uh, I published a while ago called It's Halloween, Let's Talk About Bones. And so I urge you to go there. You'll get a little more information there. It'll, it will uh, gird your understanding of what I'm talking about today. It will help you. So this medicine, Symphytum officinale, is for osteoarthritis, osteopenia, broken bones, Anything to do with bones. We're going to talk about ligaments and ligaments, etc. later. But well, let's talk about bones right now. Um, injury to the bones. The air, any area of the bone. 
the marrow of the bone, the uh, periosteum, the outside, you know, the outside shell of the bone of sorts, um, diseases of the, of the bone, osteomyelitis, growth such as osteocarcinoma, arthritis, which is, of course, the joints of the bones, uh, pain in the bones, regardless of the cause, pain in the bones, something that could be sustained from a, from a blow to the bone does not have to be an injury, my friends. This can also be, as I said, some of these others, arthritis, et cetera. It is hard to give you the full vastness of this medicine. So I want you to, when we finish tonight, go to, to um, other uh, Materia Medicas and read up on this. There are many very good Materia Medicas. I happen to like, um, well, Dr. James Tyler Kent's is online and it's free. Um, I think Boricke, B-O-E-R-I-C-K-E, is online for free, Dr. Boricke. Um, I also love, I've got it right here, Nature's Materia Medica by Robin Murphy. Very in-depth. This is more in-depth study, folks. You see the difference between that and this? <laughs> Mine is just a quick little reference. His is very much in-depth. So you want to read up on this medicine. You don't want to be without it. You want to make sure you own it. Okay. I want to make sure that you own this medicine. Symphytum 200. Now, um, we often mix Symphytum. Now, not everyone does that. I learned this from the Banerjee's. Thank God. May they rest in peace, the doctor's Banerjee. Um, they taught me to use Symphytum 200 mixed with Calc Phos 3. Now, why would they choose that? Well, we know that Calc Phos is also a very good, it's a cell salt. It's a very good medicine. Uh, cell salts sometimes look like this if you buy them from Highlands. This, one's hap this one happens to be Nat Phos, but it's, um, they look like this. But you can buy cell salts in any, in any, at, you know, in any, from any pharmacy. That this just happens to be more well known in this in, um, with Highlands, and they uh, we know that calc phos is very specific for bones as well. So are we overdoing it by using Symphytum two hundred and calc phos three? No, we are not. Each has its own properties. Each has its own ability. Calc phos three will build and repair. Uh, Symphytum has many other characteristics, partly building and repairing, but I believe Symphytum is a little deeper acting remedy. I don't know why I say that, but that's the way I feel about it. Whereas Calc Phos is a little bit more on the nutritional side. Now, some will say, well, if I find Highlands, they have Calc Phos 6. Indeed, they have. Um, but the Banerjee's taught me to use Calc Phos 3. And now when I say I'm, they're mixed, if you happen to be a student or a client of mine, you can purchase these remedies from OHM Pharma, or you can buy it online from Boron. And if you go to Boron, B-O-I-R-O-N, go to their site, and when you check out, you put my name in, in the little box, just my first name, Joette, you will get a discount. So that will, and I get no kickback. No, there is, I have no affiliation programs with them. They've just offered to do that. So you can get Symphytum from them. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get Calc Phos 3 and you mix them together. You can put the Calc Phos in your mouth, 200C, excuse me, Calc Phos 3C and Symphytum 200C in your mouth simultaneously. And you've now got one medicine. It's it's the big, bad poly pharmacy. <laughs> Cracks me up. People make it sound like it's so bad. This is one of your best medicines, my friends. This is one of your best medicines. Symphytum 200 mixed with Calc Phos 3. So uh, I'm going to tell you a story about a client of mine who's actually the father of an old friend. And he had an injury uh, where he um, fractured his tibia. This man was in his 80s, and his daughter uh, was a uh, Weston A. Price Foundation leader and had been for some time. And so she knew the importance of good quality nutrition, bone stock, uh, kombucha, 
um, high quality meat that's sourced at the correct in the correct way from family farms, um, high quality eggs, etc., from from uh, chickens that roam free and are happy. And she'd been giving her father um, this food for quite some time. I'm going to say, as I recall, it was about a year and a half, and this tibia would not fuse. It simply wouldn't fuse. And she was beside herself. So she contacted me. I took her dad's case. I met with him. And we started him on Symphytum 200C. Now, in that time, I don't, I don't believe at that time that I, no, I didn't. It was too long ago. I only used plain old Symphytum 200C. And I suggested uh, that, uh, that they use it twice daily. Indeed, twice daily. And the next time he went for an x-ray, and he was going for them pretty regularly because they were very concerned about this bone. Um, for the first time, the bone had fused. And then he went again six months later, still taking some phytum because there was still a little bit of unsurety. Um, they, he continued a little bit longer, twice daily, second x-ray, and it was clear that the bone was completely and thoroughly fused. The pain was gone, and the strength was restored to his bone. That, my friends, is medicine of value. That is medicine that is efficacious. This method is reproducible. It's polite. It's ridiculously inexpensive. <laughs> and most importantly, it's in your hands. This is medicine of measure. So we... Um, why do we use Kelkfos 3? And it's interesting because cell salts in this country mixed with symphytum. Cell salts in this country, as I said, are most often used in a 6X. But when I went and worked with uh, the Banerjee's over those eight years um, of time again, back and forth and back and forth over an eight-year period of time, I, um, I did not ask very many questions when I sat knee-to-knee -knee with Dr. Prasanta Banerjee. And then another day knee to knee right at the same desk with my dear old friend Pratip Banerjee. I rarely asked any questions at all because I didn't want to interfere with their work. I wanted to just absorb and experience. And so um, I rarely ask questions, but I did ask about Kelkfos 3 instead of Kelkfos 6. And Pratip said to me what he was always so good at saying, this is what we use, and it works. So uh, in India, Kelkfos 3 is much is pretty readily available. In the US and in Europe, you more often find uh, Kelkfos in a 6. So would I use it in a 6? I don't think I would bother. Why not just use what we know the Banerjee's have used for um, over 150 years on a day-to-day -day basis? So that's exactly what I have been doing. Now, I also want to tell you that this is one of my mainstays for, for arthritis, symphytum. Sometimes we mix symphytum with Roostox. Sometimes we mix symphytum with Arnica. And sometimes we mix symphytum with Kelkfos. Again, here comes that big bad polypharmacy <laughs> that I get so criticized for. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> so... It can be used for osteoporosis, as I said, osteopenia. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to urge you to watch that or to get to that, that blog that I discussed. It's Halloween. Let's talk about bones. Because I have an opinion about um, the DEXA scans and whether or not they are reliable or are they just trying to sell product. Um, I see that that happens often in modern medicine. They come in, prove to you with by a test that you're half dead, and then they give you the perfect solution, the drug that you'll be on for the rest of your life. So um, I always tell people if they think they have osteoporosis, um, uh, I, I, in a way, I kind of want to know. What do you mean? How do you know you have osteoporosis? Well, the DEXA scan showed that. Well, let's go further. Have you broken bones recently? No. Are your teeth breaking? No. Do you, um, are you unable to walk properly? No. Um, did your mom break bones 
at your age or older? No. Well, I'm not so sure that an image of the depth and breadth of the bone is going to be very instructive. I'm not telling you don't trust it at all, but I'm telling you question, 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 my friends. Question everything. Because I will tell you that I've worked with many women who come to me with osteoporosis and um, are frightened even because their doctor has told them they should be frightened or indicated, not maybe in those words, but the indication is that, or the, the essence of the upshot of the, of the uh, DEXA scan is that, it's, um, is that there's something to be frightened of. And I always tell women, look, you can use Symphytum 200 with Kelkfos 3 daily, but you may end up proving it, which means that those medicines will start acting against you, not permanently, not dangerously, but they'll start acting against you. And then you'll know, indeed, I'm proving the medicine. Hence, I probably don't need this medicine and it's unnecessary. The other thing I always tell people about osteoarthritis, osteopenia is make sure you're eating yogurt, high quality with the fat on top yogurt. That is one of the best ways to ensure that you're going to get the calcium that you need and the accompanying fat so that you can absorb it properly. Um, now, some people can't have dairy, can't have yogurt. Okay, then make bone stock. When you roast your turkey, you cook down the bones and you drink that stock daily. If you don't get to it, um, to doing all of that, then buy the bone stock. There's a lot of good quality bone stocks and I would buy them in glass. I wouldn't buy those aseptic containers unless you, know, you have no other choice. Um, and also you want to look at if there's osteoporosis and there is no reason for it, then you have to kind of rethink this. In other words, if you're eating foods high in calcium, not calcium pills, oh, nay, nay, we don't take calcium pills. They cause trouble. If you're eating foods with calcium and you still have a problem with calcium, it means you're not absorbing properly. That means there's something going on with the gut. Now we treat the gut. <laughs> it's not that complicated. I know that you understand this. It's not that complicated. All righty. Let's see if I've got something else here I wanted to read to you. Osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis. Super common in the United States and North America, Europe, because it's often found with dental uh, problems. So what happens is the person gets a tooth extracted and um, lo and behold, an infection sets up and the person doesn't know. Why don't they know? They don't know because there's very little pain in the bone when there's osteomyelitis. Very little pain sets in, if any at all. Oftentimes it's unknown to the dentist, even though there might be x-rays, it's unknown to the person who's suffering. And so it happened to me as well. And so um, we need Symphytum 200 with Kelkfos 3 twice daily until those that bone is healed. Unless you don't mind having the surgery where they open up the gums and the gum and debride, which means it's, you know, it's a surgical procedure. Um, I personally, I had this problem and I did not have that done. Instead, I went for a sonogram where it was noted that I had this infection that was quite old. And, um, and I just used Symphytum officinalis 200 C with Calcfos three. I used some other medicines too. I won't go into them cause it's a whole nother story. I have talked about it many times. Um, but I used a couple of different medicines together, but you cannot do it without Symphytum. You must have Symphytum if you've got a bone infection, it has to be. Now, I had perfect confidence that this was going to work out well, and I'll tell you why I did. The reason I was felt so confident was because I'd spent so much time in India, and we saw osteomyelitis, which is um, a cavitation or necrosis of the bone. There are many different names for it. Um, we saw it frequently. Uh, not with um, bone jaw infections, mandible or maxillary infections because of dental work, no. In India, we saw 
the kinds of infections that occurred to generally laborers who would have an injury and the bone would, the, the, the injury would uh, fuse, the, the, the skin would close up, the, inf the outer infection would be, would appear to be fine, the outer infection would appear to, to have diminished or gone, and yet the bone below was still infected. And then sometimes the person knew what it was, sometimes they didn't know. Now, a lot of times you see a fistula that, that presents, which means it's like a little, it's like a little opening that leads from the bone through the, through the tendons, the muscle, the skin, and you can actually see that there's an opening and, and it releases infection. We've even seen that in the mandible and maxillary, but I've seen it many times in India. And what was used was Sym, uh, Symphytum 200 mixed with Kelkfast 3 twice daily for many months. Is that the only one? Again, that I've talked about these infections in my blogs and podcasts, and I don't really want to get into it right now. I'm sorry. Just, we just don't have a lot of time to get into it. But um, we use these couple of different medicines, and we use them for an extended period of time. What's extended? Well, for a chronic condition such as um, osteomyelitis or arthritis, sometimes it takes many, many months. For the osteomyelitis, it could take a year, two, three years using this medicine twice daily. Well, doesn't that fly in the face of some who think we shouldn't repeat the medicines? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cracks me up. Love it. Your doctor says this, you but oh, nay, nay. Auntie Joette says, <laughs> Melissa, you're funny. Can remedies be given for elderly who already chose to do dental procedures or use surgery protocols? You can give these medicines to a duck, to a dog, <laughs> camel, um, fish, an infant, newborn, pregnant woman, menopausal woman, old man, anybody can use that. Now, if there is a condition that remains, if that's what your question is, if the condition remains, then we treat it. We don't use homeopathic medicines just for fun. We use, these are medicines. That's why I use the word medicines. We use these medicines for specific conditions. If the condition does not, is not present, then we don't use the medicine. It's much different than say using supplements or vitamins where you say, oh, well, maybe I need some vitamin C because I might catch a cold or something. No, we don't use it that way. Generally speaking, once in a while, there's some aspects where we might do that. But generally speaking, this is medicine and we use it for pathology. If there's no pathology, then we don't use it. All righty. Let's see if we can get some more questions here. Is osteomyelitis, osteomyelitis is the name of, is the overall name for bone infection. Cavitation usually means in the jaw. Um, all right. Can you treat gut and use remedies for osteoporosis at the same time? You bet you can, Kay. You bet. And if you want to know how to treat the gut, you might want to consider my course titled Good Gut, Bad Gut. Um, hmm, is it really a doctor's role to frighten you? That doesn't sound like it is helpful for healing. It isn't. You're right. It isn't. And I think that it is that fear is a very, very powerful motivator. Wouldn't you say after this last two years, wouldn't you say that fear is a great motivator? <laughs> now, I'm not talking about all doctors or all dentists. There are some incredible people out there. I know some of them, and I'm sure you do too. But I'm telling you that that is a tactic that's used. Um, all righty, let's see what else we've got here. Such beautiful medicine that acts like a symphony. Isn't that so? Like a symphony with the body to make all things well. So blown away on how God gave us nature and the blessing to know how to use it and to nourish and to heal. You betcha, Melissa. It's God's medicine. It's God's medicine. All right. Um, let's just see. I don't want to miss the really important one. I'm in herbal school right now. I think that the time you shouldn't use the comfrey is with a deep puncture wound as it heals up the surface skin too quickly and the part underneath isn't healed yet. But for a broken bone, we've been taught to use it immediately. Good information. 
and it can't be patented. This medicine can't be patented. Doesn't that say something? And listen, I believe in good, pure capitalism, but to patent medicine and then rule the world with it, as I say, oh, nay, nay. <laughs> All righty. I think we've got it. Let's see if I've missed anything else. I want to make sure. Um, must be used over an extended period of time. I will tell you that for the, the infection that I had, I used that Symphytum 200 and Calcfos 3 for years, twice daily. Then when I found that my the pain, I got pain, no, I didn't have pain. But when I felt pain, I knew that the medicine, it was time to stop. Just a little bit of pain every day for a few days. Okay, it's time to stop Symphytum and Calcfos. Take a break from it and then wait a month and start again. If each time I used it, the pain would come back again, then I knew pretty much that I no longer needed it. And then I would go to my dentist who I adore. Um, and he would give me a sonogram, which was, you know, you know, he runs the mouse across your jaw and looks to see whether or not there's anything going on. And um, I trusted his, um, his ability to see that. And I could see it too on the screen. And I would either carry on because it wasn't done or I would stop. And I've gone through this on and off for, for several years because the infection that I had was quite old. I was a young woman when I had my wisdom teeth extracted. And interestingly, for no good reason at all, there was nothing wrong with my wisdom teeth. And so I urge you, you have young adults in your family or teenagers, keep those wisdom teeth. Keep them. If you have a little trouble with them, then you use a homeopathic medicine that helps with the trouble. And don't start pulling organs and parts of the body out. Um, or if you decide to do it, at least give it a breather. Try something for a while and then reconsider. Always slow down on these big decisions to go get an exam or to go get a, 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 a test that's um, loaded with radioactivity. Slow down for surgery. Just because the doctor has an has availability in his or her schedule doesn't mean you have to be there at that time. You just think twice. And it doesn't mean we never use doctors. It means just calm, you know, cool your jets, pal. We got time. We'll figure this out perhaps in another way. If not, I'll be back. Now, I don't expect you to talk to the doctor that way, but that's the way I want you to think. Okay. All righty, folks. God bless all of you. I will see you next week. <laughs> my mighties and my Facebook timer. I'm sorry I couldn't answer all the uh, everything, um, but I try to get to as much as I can. Read up on my blogs. I've got lots of info there. Good night, everyone. <laughs>